Of all the words in the English language, passionate may be the best to describe motion Deborah Katz. And of all the people, places, and things fortunate enough to be on the receiving end of such affinity, Milwaukee Jewish Day School has been high on the list. The day school has become part of the rhythm of, of who we are as a family. It was uh, from day one. They see MJDS as the soil that the roots grow into. To me, they are as much um, the fabric of the school as anyone we've ever known. They are all about MJDS and that it is the greatest place to send your children. I feel a difference when you walk in the, the doors there. There's a warmth, I think, there. And I think the kids feel it too. And they would like to see that for everyone else. Now there's little doubt about how such devotion developed. It emerged through the education of their greatest priority and passion, day school graduates, son Gabe and daughter Sydney. We walked into the day school and it just all fell into place. It just seemed like that made the most we're sense. Home. We're, yeah, we're home. We're home. Our kids are going to be home for a while. Kids are going to be home, right. I mean, our youth had so much to do with Milwaukee Jewish Day School, even after our graduation. Like so much. Yeah. Like all of our, I feel like all of our memories. They're what it's all about. They're the dream, they're the dream kids. Um, and there's no question whatsoever that the day school played a significant part in that. Imagine being able to enjoy and enjoy all of your loves, your children, your avocation of education, and your heart's homeland. That's what Moshe managed to do and still does by teaching the eighth graders about Israel and then embarking on an annual graduation year adventure, accompanying them to the Holy Land. It's a dream. Um, taking kids to Israel is awesome. I wouldn't dare to, uh, to try and stack the things that Moshe and Deb love in a certain order, but one or one A has to be Israel. And that Zionism um, that, that he helped embed in my children um, is something that I'll never be able to thank him enough for. Year after year, he is fulfilling that vision of Lador Vador. He is passing it on to the next generation. He just, he just knew every place, every place we went. And uh, we got to meet people that have taught here and you know, where he still you know, connects with and you know, go to the beach with them. It just was wonderful. The way the education leads up to it is that they'll have these, oh my God, that's Ben Yehuda Street, as in that guy with the language, yeah, that's him. Or they'll have shakshuka for the first time and they'll go, that's the food we've been talking about? He connected all the learning of the past 10 or preceding 10 years to a place and a people. He keeps coming back, you know, keeps coming back, wanting to share, you know, the, his, you know, excitement, enthusiasm for Israel, and, and I just think that's such a gift. It's, got, it's like the Hotel California checking me ever check out. <laughs> well, and that was also the biggest joke, was that, like, my dad was going to continue to teach while, like, both of us went through eighth grade, and then afterwards he'd be done. He goes, no, like, here. maybe a couple more years, maybe a couple more years, and, like... I'm almost out of college. Yeah. So <laughs> and at some point, you have to recognize at what age you continue doing this. Like, is it, it's like be, I'll be walking around like a staff, like an old, hunched-over man, thinking to myself, yep, I'm still doing the day of school trip. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, kids. Let's go to Masada. <laughs> All joking aside, over the years, Deb's dedication to her children, others' children, and the school also had a huge impact. She, she truly wanted to make this place as great as it possibly could be and put every effort she could. We've always had those workshops where you had to draw like what a Jewish day school parent would look like. I'd draw her picture. <laughs> <laughs> when I think of PTO, I think of Deb. I think of her just in the school every single day. I, I saw her every day in the school. Still, through everything, as time passes, it's hard to miss passion's priority, each other. We've seen our parents like give the most loving kisses and hugs forever, uh, still. Um, they're, they're like still excited to see each other, oh, yeah. which is like sweet as can be. It's so loving, their, their, their family dynamic is so um, warm and um, embracing. They go on walks almost every day. They, together. Together. Um, like, 
I don't know, like <laughs> at some point don't you get sick of each other? Or run out of things to talk about? I always wonder that, like, are, are you, do you have nothing to talk about anymore? But they're still talking. So on a year of such significance to the Milwaukee Jewish Day School, it would seem only fitting to honor an iconic couple who embody the values here and remain emblematic of the rich history forged thus far. And that old adage, what you put in is what you get out, they were all in. And of course, they got wonderful, wonderful things out, but we all did. We all did. Whatever they're going to be a part of, they're all in. They're all in community leaders. They're all in business owners. They're all in parents. All in. We've always loved them. They've always been like... <laughs> we're big fans. Yeah, we're big fans of them. <laughs> they truly love the school. They love the people here. They love what the school does. You know, and the citizens they create, and the, you know, I just think they, they think of it as their family, and I just think that's really special. We get told how proud they are of us a lot, uh, and it's kind of hard to just be like, thanks you too, but... But they deserve this. But they deserve They've... this so much. Yeah. The world is a better place with Moshe and Deb in it, period.